Hey everyone. In our last few videos, we've used user input in the form of clicks in order to cause different things to occur in our rooms. In this video, we're going to talk about how to use text, specifically user provided text, in order to cause similar, but also some more broader events to occur. So if we look at our room right here, we can see that uh, I've got an interactive element uh, that's just like a digital assistant. And so when I click on it, oops, sorry, I need to go into play. When I click on it, it's pr I get prompted with, would you like me to turn the lights on? And in this instance, it's asking for user input. So we need to modify our code to allow the user to type in their response. The nice part is that the provided method that I'll show you here in a second will take that input and then it can be used in order to cause different events to occur. So if we go back into edit, specifically into the digital assistant, uh, we see that click me uh, to activate happens on start. And then we have the function that we saw when you click it, say, would you like me to turn the lights on? This is where we need the user to be able to add something. And so we can use the prompt method and it takes two parameters the placeholder text in the prompt box and then the function you would like to run using the provided input and so we'll just say type here uh, so you can see where that happens and then i've already created my callback function down here so all i have to put is assistant function and then close it out and so what will happen is when we get to line eight the user will be able to type their response and that response will be used in the callback function in order to cause different events to occur. So if we go back in here, we should be able to test it. So we're going to click to activate. Would you like me to turn the lights on down here? I'm going to type yes. And then I'm going to hit send, which will run my callback function. And there we go. My lights turned on. Now, if you're curious about how we went from a user input with a the digital assistant to changing the brightness of the room, you're going to want to tune in for our next couple videos.